In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to get list of data from Firebase. If we see here in our app, we have here a list of categories and here a list of foods, okay? And we want to store the, those two lists in the Firebase and try to fetch them from our database, okay? So let's first change the UI of the screen. I don't want to waste your time, so I will not waste your time to create that UI or to create that screen. I will create that screen and you can check the code. I will leave it in the description and you can download it from my GitHub page, okay? So now let's, to, to not twist our time, let's add that code here and press save. Now we have here that list, but if you look at the code, I have those category as a static values. For example, if I delete that one and delete that one, I just got only two. I want to make it dynamic and I want to get them from the database. So first, let's store them in the database, okay? So here in our Firebase, Firebase console, let's go to console and let's select create native dream. Let's store those data. Let's go to fire store database. And let's start a new collection. Let's call them categories. Okay, let's press next. Let's make the ID auto and the field we want here an image and title. Okay, so it will be image URL and it will be string. Let's add a value. So now those are the images that I'm gonna use. Okay, and let's add another field with the title. Let's call this food. Okay, let's press save. Let's add another document with auto ID. Image URL is gonna be that image. And the title is gonna be pizza. Let's save. Let's add another document with auto ID. It will be KFC image URL and title will be KFC. Now we are storing that our data in the database. We were making that manually, but in next lessons, we're gonna learn how to do that using our app. I mean posting data to Firebase, okay? Image URL with that string and the title will be French fries and let's press save. Now we want to fetch those four documents from our categories, okay? So now let's type here React Native Firebase and let's open that link. Let's go down to Firestore documentation. Let's press on usage with flat list and let's press on it. Let's go down, go down and let's copy that code. But wait, let's go down. Okay, let's copy that code first with that use effect. Let's copy it. And go to our project here. I would like to mention, don't worry with those red lines here. It's TypeScript issues and in TypeScript course, we're gonna learn how to handle those fixes. I just leave them to, to make lessons about TypeScript with React Native, so don't worry. Okay, so now let's import use effect and let's import our Firestore. Import Firestore from React Native Firebase Firestore. Now we want the collection of categories, not users. If you see here, the collection name is categories. So let's, let's copy that string and put it here, okay? 
and let's rename that constant with categories here and here and here okay let's go to our documentation and copy that code the user state hook loading and users but we're not gonna make them users we're gonna make them categories okay let's make that categories and this set categories and here let's refactor that to make it set categories okay now let's press save and let's try to log our categories let's console console.log categories and see Wow, we have here the categories here, the image URL, the key, the title, TFC. Now I would like to mention that we have fetched our data correctly from Firebase. So let's continue with the documentation and see. Transforming the data, we've done that. Let's add that activity indicator when loading. Here, before return, let's add that code. And let's not forget to import activity indicator. Okay, let's press save. I want to see our app. Okay. Now our flat list. Let's copy that code. All, all the code from Firebase documentation. So no need to worry. Just copy the code from the documentation and handle it with your own. Okay, so now no need to this scroll view with those categories anymore. So let's comment them. Now we can see them and let's paste our code. Let's import our flat list and let's replace users with categories. And let's render our category item. Our category item, that's the component we have created here. Don't worry, that component in the description, in the, in, it's provided in source code because it's not a UI lesson, it's a Firebase lesson. Okay, if you want to learn UI, I have a video in the in description that will take you from zero level. React Native UI to and make you expert. You'll be able to build any UI that you want. So now let's import our category card. And that card take two properties. The title and it will be item.title. And the second property is image. And it's gonna be URI will be item.image URL. And let's press save. Now we are fetched our data, but it's vertically, so we want to make that flat list horizontally. So just add that property, horizontal, and press save. Now we have fetched our data from our Firebase, not from, not static like before. We cannot get rid of that code. If you see here, that's the data we have added to Firebase. If you want to make sure of that, let's add another document to Firebase. Here. In our categories, let's add a new category. Let's, let's make the ID auto and let's add that field image URL. Let's add that image juice, orange juice. Let's paste it here and let's add another field and it will be the title and the title is gonna be juice. Let's press save. Great, we have received that data, juice. Now we have four th five things, french fries, food, pizza, juice, and KFC. The same documents we have pasted here. Maybe that lesson is a little bit hard, so we're gonna recap it in the next lesson when we try to fetch our, our main dishes here. Those dishes, sandwich, super sandwich at the special and so on. So don't worry, we're gonna recap that lesson and you're gonna be a Firebase expert in the future. So don't worry and if you want my source code, you can find it in the description. Thanks for watching.